there's a new report out about just how much Congress works, and it's not a lot. <laughs> to put it very straightforward, uh, this report is infuriating because you're working much harder and not getting paid nearly as much. The House of Representatives is only scheduled to work eight days between now and January 7th. Uh, when members return for the second session of Congress. So compare that, compare that to you. How much are you going to work between now and January 7th? My guess is for the overwhelming majority of people, it is much more than eight days, but not your representatives. They're working only eight days. The House also had 239 days off scheduled during 2013. And they have even more days off scheduled for next year. Think about that. There's only 365 days in a year. Once again, I will tell you they have 239 days off. They barely work at all. The 2014 calendar for the House, released in October by House Majority Leader Eric Cantor, shows members will work only 113 days. That number is down from 2013 when House lawmakers were scheduled to meet for 126 days. And get this, in the year 2012, they only met 107 days. So how much did they get paid for not working, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. Non-ranking members of the House and Senate receive $174,000 per year. How about that gig, making $174,000 for only working 107 days? Seems like a pretty good job, doesn't it? Would you accept that? Would you take that? <laughs> Imagine you walked into your boss's office today and said, hey, yeah, uh, look, here's my proposal for next year's pay and schedule. How about I work 107 days and you pay me 174 grand? My guess is you would get laughed at and they would hand you a pink slip so fast it would make your head spin in circles. Now let me give you some more numbers here. The majority and minority leaders in the House of Representatives receive more than $193,400 per year. And when you look at how much money a congressperson makes overall, so for example, the median congressional net worth is $872,147. That's the median net worth of a member of Congress. And then when you look at the average congressional net worth, that number gets kicked up even more to $9.6 million. Now compare that to the median income in general in the U.S., so for normal Americans. That's $52,762. So again, they are at $872,000. You are at $52,762. And oh yeah, by the way, how many days do you get off? Only 10. And none of them are guaranteed by law. Guaranteed paid vacation by law. In fact, the U.S. gets zero paid vacation days by law. Every other modern industrial nation has at least a couple paid vacation days by law, whether it's two weeks or three weeks, and they split it up between sick days and vacation days. You have zero. So again, our leaders, our representatives, 239 days off. You only get 10 days off, and they make much more than you. Now, furthermore, the median net worth of a regular citizen, $57,000. The average net worth, 77300 So again, they are $9.6 million. You are $77,300. So in summation, you work much harder and longer and get paid significantly less. And oh yeah, by the way, a report came out yesterday that said that this Congress has been the least productive in recorded history. So think about that for a little bit. Gee, I wonder if our representatives being disconnected from the people and not understanding the average person is a problem in America.